Okay, so let me show you the first things to do on the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3. So first of all, when you set up this device with your smartphone, definitely I will recommend you to swipe down and change the brightness level. For me, the screen is too dark, so click here, swipe up, and as you can see right now, everything is like definitely more visible. And as you can see from here, we can also find this quick settings. And I would like to change it because uh, honestly, I don't need the quick access, for example, to the do not disturb mode or this sleep mode. So uh, if you also want to change and get quick access, for example, to the flashlight and to the brightness adjustment, or for example, the airplane mode, uh, you will have to just grab your phone, move to the Galaxy wearable application, uh, from this, you will actually start from this screen and select the quick panel. So now, uh, in my case, I'm going to actually remove this function, the sleep mode, the do not disturb mode, always on display. Uh, I would like to get the quick access to the settings, to the flashlight, to the vibration. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this find my phone and the theater mode and the airplane mode. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to actually change position of the brightness. I want to, I want to get it right here and I'm going to click save. There we go. Now, when I move into my watch and open this menu, and uh, as you can see, I've got only this uh, quick settings menu. So I just get rid of all of this stuff that I don't need. And as you can see, for some reason, the brightness changed to the previously settings. So what do we have to do the next step? We have to just uh, open this settings like this. Now we have to move into the display and turn off this annoying adaptive brightness. And now we can finally get our brightness level. And when we are in the display settings, it's also worth to turn on the always on display. So now when we put the device on our wrist and when the screen goes black, we'll get the time and the date and the notifications. Also, uh, I'm going to actually change the screen timeout because seven seconds, it's not enough for me. I'm going to set 30 seconds. There we go. Uh, from this, I'm going back. And also, I would like to change position of this of this app menu. So we have to go another time into the phone, open apps screen. And uh, I would like to get settings at the first place. Uh, at the same with the media control and the Samsung Health, I would like to get also the stopwatch and calculator. And I don't care about the rest. So I would like to quickly get access to these five apps. I have to click save and let's close it. Open it one more time. And as you can see, what I've got, I just customize this stuff. So that's great. Uh, next, when we go, not here, when we go for the other uh, watch faces that's actually called the tiles as you can see we can find actually a lot of different stuff but I'm missing some key features so first of all to remove this tiles that you don't need for example uh, I'm not gonna use this one the weather I don't care also about the weather um, yeah I'm gonna get rid of this one I've got some sleep data so I'm gonna stay with this one the health tracking the media control, the heart rate beat rate, I'm going to leave it. The cycle, cycle tracking, now I'm going to get rid of this one. And now I want to add, for example, the steps counter. There we go. Also, I want to add the blood oxygen level. And the last one will be the stress level. There we go. So as you can see right now, I've got my top. Uh, the most used tiles and I just get rid of all this other stuff uh, So next I would like to change the watch face so I can click and hold it and now I can find some different watch faces for example I'm gonna get this classic watch There we go and uh, From this I can also recommend you to grab your phone right now move into the band settings Oh, I mean to the watch faces. And if you want to download the new watch faces, uh, you can actually do this right here. Click on it, tap to add. And after this uh, transferring process, it will be visible on your screen. So what you have to do right now is just to wait for this downloading process. It goes pretty fast. So just wait for this couple of the seconds. I'm going to drink my tea at this time. 
okay and it's almost finished we are on the 80 percent okay there we go and we've got the new watch face now i can also recommend you to go to the band settings go into the notifications click on the app notifications and be sure that you enable uh, the notifications from the apps that you are using the most. Uh, from this I can also recommend you to turn on the screen for the incoming notifications on your band. And uh, that's uh, basically it. That's my first things to do on the Samsung Galaxy Feed 3. Right now please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.